welcome to my channel i'm mark this is mark's mods and today guys would you believe it this is our last stage for our marathon camper van build catch up so today we are going to do issue 92 of build the camper van now this takes me up to the last pack i received and then i've just received my next pack so we are all caught up which is fantastic been a long time coming as this one um it's not been as quick as i thought it would be um but it's been a hell of a journey to tell you the truth from what we started with uh, to what we're finishing with um the camper is coming along leaps and bounds anyway let's finish this off today guys so with all that said let's get modeling Okay, so today we are working on the fuel flap and side trim. Wow. Uh, we have been given some parts. We've been given a half, uh, a pin and a hinge, two pins and a hinge. Uh, we're not doing anything with them today, so they're just being put to one side. We've also got this lovely piece of trim or frame. We're not doing anything with that either today, so we have to put that to one side as well. But what we do need to start with, we do need to bring over the camper. Wow, getting heavy. Now I'm going to go to the overhead. Um, because we've got our fuel filler cap. And that's going to be placed on here just from behind. But we need to screw that in and we need to screw that in with two BP03 screws. So two of them. One. Just done it again. I keep knocking the uh, main build camera off. So we're going to secure this in to the hinge that we did previously not in the last issue but so that one's in just a little bit and get a second one in and then we'll tighten them up Remember, you are going into plastic here, so don't over tighten them. Okay, so that's in. And our little fuel filler cap just down here. It doesn't open very far, but um, open and closes. Nice flush fit as well. Okay, so now we've done that, the next bit we need to do. Is, this is why I was a bit cautious about putting this mirror on because we are flipping this up and down left and right I don't want to break it uh, We need to put some trim on So if I go to the build camera the main camera We're going to be putting on some just here So I believe it's the smallest of the bits we've got Now it does say check the fit to make sure it fits on correctly because if it doesn't, then we can turn it around. I'm just bringing that closer to me. Right, not too happy with that. So we'll try it the other way. Now, it's hard to see. Um, one side has fit nicely on. The other hasn't. Ah, but that's that's gone in lovely actually now. Okay, so that's on the correct way. Um, we need to secure that in with some BP03 screws, and we need how many of them do we need? We need four BP03s. So four of them. One, two, three, four. So I am knocking the camera. Okay, so let's get this screwed in. 
I will just double check to make sure it is the correct screws. I just want enough to sort of grab it and then pull itself in with the screw. Again, why couldn't we have done this off the camper? <coughs> it would have made more sense than doing it in place. Okay, so that's another bit in. And just the two more screws in the middle to do. That's one. And that's two. So that's all four screws in on that side. Uh, next we've got some more trim to put on which is gonna go down underneath onto here. Now it says to double check. So that side it's overhanging so it can't go that way. So it must go on like that which it does. And we need to secure that in with a screw we haven't used in a while, and that is a BP01 screw. Wow. Now these are tiny. Absolutely tiny screws. So, I think you have to bear with me on this one because this could, um, this could take a while. got one in there I'm gonna put another one in at the other side because it's moving around and I'm having to use my left hand that's a hold it in place and I'm right-handed all the other members of my family in this household are all left-handed but I'm the only right-handed person so yeah Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bring it around like this so I can use my right hand to screw this in because I'm just not, I'm not left-handed. <laughs> Okay, that's another one. And this is the last. And then I think this issue is complete. We have been given some extra screws and parts that we'll put away till later. But there we have it. That's that bit of trim in. And I think if we go to the overhead, that this bit is going to go on to there like so in the next issue just like that but that is fantastic i'm really pleased with that that looks amazing so we've got some nice really nice trim on that side still miss that we haven't put this hinge on yet but um yeah I'm tough with that. So that is stage 92 complete. 
Well, guys, that's it for the marathon of the camper van and what a marathon it has been. It has been in some places, it's been tears, in others, it's been joy. But what we've got out the end of this marathon is amazing. It looks really nice, does the body of the uh, camper. Um, I can't wait to get started on more because I looked at my next five issues or stages, my next pack. And this is really, really going to start to take shape over the next five stages. You, you, you know, you're putting on some quite nice bits of the campus. So, but that now is going to be back on the weekly schedule. So, yeah, another one for the weekly. And probably the next marathon I'm going to have to catch up on is the Rossi. So that will be the next marathon build. And I've got more of that than I have of the camper to build. So... Oh joys. So I don't know how I'm going to do that because the stages aren't very long. I may do two stages at a time. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please could you give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please man subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, stay safe and bye for now.